for beef stew, you're gonna need three pounds of Angus chuck roast, olive oil and unami seasoning for the marinade, tomato paste, one onion, a few carrots, about a tablespoon of salt, a fourth a cup of cassava flour, a tablespoon of thyme, and three tablespoons of beef suet or beef tallow. Hi, welcome to Run a Dish. This is Tamar, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make beef stew in an Instapot really easy. First, marinate your chuck roast overnight in olive oil and unami seasoning. I have two pounds because that's all the store had. I usually do three, three and a half because I like a lot of leftovers. But we'll work with two and a half. Put that aside for now. We're gonna fill the Instapot in this order. First, grab your bone broth and we have a great recipe on how to make bone broth in our other videos. Check it out. Start with filling the pot with two cups of bone broth. Then you're gonna add tomato sauce, two tablespoons. Then you're gonna have three tablespoons of beef tallow or uh, suet, beef suet, I have beef suet. Throw that in there. A teaspoon of salt. And a tablespoon of thyme. Okay. Half a cup of cassava flour. This is gluten-free and dairy-free. Mix that up. Then add onion and carrots for flavoring. This is half a chopped yellow onion and four carrots. And then finally your beef, chuck roast. Let's do the fatty side should go up. All right, up here, put on your lid. Ninety minutes. Pressure cook. Ninety minutes. It's gonna go, and then I kind of let it sit on warm for another hour. Oh my god, that's it. That was so quick. So our chuck roast has. Uh, finished cooking in its own juices. You want to take it out and chop it up into chunks and we're going to put it back in with all the flavorings. And here are the results. Oh man, super tender. Delicious. 